Minister, fellow author, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure they're about to arrive. <laughs> uh, thank you, Drew. Good evening and welcome to a very colourful venue to celebrate a very colourful festival. We're actually certain that this will be the best Diwali event ever in the Mansion House. And not least because it's the first one that's ever taken place. That's right, in the 250 years since this building was completed, there's never been a Diwali celebration here. There have been a few other notable celebrations, including hundreds of Lord Mayor shows. The 800th uh, show is coming up under a number of fortnight's time, although the details of that anniversary are kept completely under the wraps. Uh, if there's anything like my own show last year, then it would be a riotous festival of enjoyment and showmanship, which is exactly what I've been told to expect from tonight. <laughs> Absolutely honoured to be asked to kick things off and lighten the dial. I did a deep, how do you pronounce it? Yeah. Dial, okay, good. As part of my introduction, Drew asked me to say a few words about my own experience of Dubai. The truth be told, I'm afraid my stories are a little bit thin on the ground, which is strange considering the sheer number of events that both Julie and I have been to as Lord Mayor and Lady Mayor's. Remembrance services, grand openings, meetings with heads of state, school ceremonies, every dinners, business conferences, state banquets, and that's just one week in October. Now you might think that after a year, some of those events start to blur into one, not being busy. They're each so different, and with such specific requirements and outcomes, that every day was surprised afresh. Although they're all different, there are some threads that run through almost every event the social occasions to the very serious business summits. And one of those threats is the desire for the city to thrive, and the understanding that to thrive in today's modern, interconnected world, you need more than a Twitter account. You need diversity. We're delighted that Hindus, Sikhs, James, and indeed people of all other religions come to the city, pull up their sleeves and do well. The Square Mile is one of the few genuine meritocracies in the world. And it's part of that which makes it such a new, unique, successful place in which to work. We value different views, we value different beliefs, and we don't bash it down that it doesn't matter. And it's only when you're open minded that you realise how much we all share. People from any religion or none, the city is not about our differences, it's about our similarities. And that's what brings us all together at work, at home, and in communities that surround us. Lady Maris and I have been lucky enough to have an unusually close engagement with India during our year in Mansion House. For example, two of our staff at Mansion House here are Hindu, or come from a Hindu background. And one of them, Jay Patel, where's Jay? Where is Jay? This is a trip. Where is he? Where is he? I'm just about to have her. I'm just about to have If you do see Jay, I'm going to talk about him now. He's just started a course in Indian head massage. <laughs> now it looks like G and I are leaving at precisely the wrong time. But I hope my successor enjoyed hours of head-related relaxation. I've been told that Jay is now taking bookings right now, if he's here to get more bookings, at an extremely reasonable rates. But on a more serious front, our first overseas visit was to India in December last year, less than a month after we arrived here. We spent a week in Delhi and Mumbai and met a fantastic array of business people and ministers, including two meetings with Finance Minister Aaron Jaitley. And we're particularly excited that next week we'll meet President Narendra Modi as part of his visit to the UK. It's really important for both the UK and India that we all do what we can to cement what is already a very strong business relationship. India invests more in the UK than it does to any other country, in actual fact, more than the rest of Europe combined. And in turn, Britain is one of the top three investors into India. If you want to see the vibrancy of our shared relationship, just go to the Indian versus India cricket match. And you'll see mutual respect and camaraderie. I didn't write this, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, we both look forward to that relationship continuing with the city and elsewhere. Not least of all, I'm a very, very happy to Thank you all very much indeed.